Aren't you a little old for video games? Hey guys, welcome back to NASA to Z. Uh, it's actually been, it's been over a year since I recorded the last video. The last video that I uploaded like a month ago with me and Adam, that was actually from, I think, September uh, of 2019 that I recorded that. And now we're in 2021. I just upload, it took me like a full year to edit and upload that video. You know, having a one-year-old is crazy, a two-year-old now, um, that's nuts. Um, I have a, you know, a new job, a lot of stuff has changed and it's been made it really like, it's just hectic to get back into the vibe. I've also been playing a lot of PlayStation 4 games, which have been taking up a lot of my time. Um, a, lot of, a lot of stuff's been going on, you know, COVID, it's really through our, our schedule. You'd think with COVID I'd be able to do more videos, but the fact of the matter is I go to bed so much earlier now with the kid I don't have that late, late night time to do this that often, so it's been slow. But I do want to get back into it, so don't give up on me, please. Those of you who uh, subscribe, get the alerts and come watch my videos. There's like 30 people um, that like are on my videos right away, so I, I, I love I love that. I love hearing you guys, uh, you know, tell me to keep going. In a couple, in, in at this rate, since it's going so slow now, I think uh, my son will be old enough to help me do this. Um, so you can actually see a full evolution of me without a kid, me with a kid, and then my kid helping me do this to eventually after I'm long gone, my kid, which was the joke like 20 episodes ago, will actually finish the series without me. That's the, that's the, the, the that'll be the goal. Uh, another cool thing is I got a thing called a Retroid Pocket 2. I don't know if you can see this very well. Um, it's just a little retro handheld device. It's an emulation machine. Here it is emulating a Baby Boomer NES game, just the game that I opened to show you. It can emulate uh, SNES, Genesis, all the way up to PlayStation and PSP games. Um, and then it's got an Android uh, system, so you can get Android games on it too and use the controls on that. I haven't done that yet because I'm only in it for the role-playing games, really. Uh, it's really cool. It's a really nice device, really well-made. It's 80 bucks. I got that this year for myself. I also started an Etsy store that sells pixelated artwork. You can see some of the examples of what I sell on my Etsy store in the background here. The Street Fighter pictures, uh, Turtles in Time, character select screens, Ninja Gaiden stuff. Check out my store. I'll put a link in the description. That'll be fun. But yeah, anyway, let's get down to business. We're in the Ks here. We're doing King Neptune's Adventure, a game I've never heard of or played. King of Kings, which looks like a Bible game. Never played that. It is a Bible game. It's my wisdom tree. Oh, excuse me. Hello. All right, sorry about that. Uh, King of Kings, uh, what was it? Looking, it looks like a Bible game. Never played it. Uh, King's Knight, I have played. It's a, it's a oddly enough a SquareSoft game or Square. Um, well, SquareSoft is is the, the company. Yeah, it's it's not an RPG. It's like a basically a shoot 'em up, like a think uh, a ver like a Galaga. Think Galaga. That's what it is. But it's like in a fantasy realm. It's kind of an interesting game. Um, King's Quest, I've played, but on PC, and this is going to be a pretty boring run, I think. And then look at this, Kings of the Beach. Look at the most 90s cover in the world. Look at the the, the textured backgrounds and the scribble like action graphics. It's amazing. All right, let's get down to business. Looks like I've opened this before at some point, but I, I don't remember playing it. Um, does it just start like right here? I'm gonna restart it real quick because I'm kind of confused. Yeah, it just starts right there. All right. King Neptune's Adventure, programmed by Sir Robert T. Bonifacio. Graphics by The Lady Nina and Miles O. The Forest. Wow, these people are going deep into the LARP. This is Color Dreams, too? Color Dreams. That's the... Oh, no. Color, by, uh, Wisdom Tree is the Bible one. Color Dreams is just... A company. The dark tentacled creature has stolen the orb and eight precious treasures. Some believe its lair is in the inner chamber of the lost city of Atlantis. Help King Neptune find the orb and the eight lost treasures. Bubble bomb. Collect as many as you can. To launch one, press B to detonate a bomb, press A or B. Some creatures can only be gotten using the bubble bomb. Light shot, useful for smaller creatures, will ricochet and gain extra power. Press A to fire, light shot. Okay, find these hidden treasures. Crown goblet, pot of gold, peace, love, happiness. 
Wow. Collect ten dollars. Literal dollar bills. Everything's all really like deep into the lore, and then there's a dollar. Okay. Was that the was that the crown I was supposed to get? Pause the game. So treasures, I already have the crown. It looks like it's up there in the top left. King's castle, deep open ocean, dark castle, deep sea. Um, and go down into some kind of a green orb that leads to a maze. Sunken ship, volcano, Atlantis, inner chamber. So okay. this freak oh I can't oh okay this is not a wall but this is like a wall I can't hit this thing I guess I talk to it the dolphin says only a crown nobleman can remove the sword from the stone well I have a, I happen to have a crown so I'll be able to handle that Jeez, the transitions are nuts. Is this a door? Oh! Oh, this must be the maze. Oh, a key? Oh, excuse me. I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna go here now because I'm too scared. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I don't belong in the maze yet. I think I should be in the open ocean for a little bit. the right. <gasps> Dollar! Holy shit, that's fast. Oh my god. Oh, that was a- okay, I thought that was a door. Oh my god, this is- I'm in the sunken ship already. Jesus. This game's got no chill. Is that a door too? I'm just in the sunken ship now. It is a door! Oh, I'm inside the sunken ship. Okay, are these enemies? That's a dolphin, because I talked about dolphin earlier. Incredibly hard to hit this. Oh, I got him. Okay. Oh! Okay, I collected that dolphin. There's another door. Oh. I threw a bubble bomb at him! Look at this guy, thinks he's smart. Wow, look at him, the AI! He jumps right when I shoot! Do I, I mean, do I care? There's just another door right there. Pot of gold! I need a key to get through this door. Oh. Respawning enemies, that's too bad. Okay, oh, a dollar! That screen like oh shit oh no god damn well I hate this this is kind of cool it's like because you can move in you know you're not just two-dimensional you can move in well it'd be two-dimensional but you can move up and down like no big deal so you can dodge stuff. These like these battles are pretty engaging that I'm having with these freaks. I hate how close I am to the screen. And go in here. Is this the other side of the Oh my god, look at those. Oh! Oh I get it. This is like a maze. Well I can't. Hmm. Oh, well, hey, time's up. I, I got a minute extra on this out of this game, which is uh, it doesn't usually happen. Uh, that was a lot of fun, honestly. I've never played that game before, but it's a cool, you know, Metroidvania, I guess. Well, I, there haven't been any, any elements of me getting more powerful. Well, I guess me getting stuff, like a crown, to do something is Metroidvania-esque. 
Um, but anyway, uh, cool control, good controls, cool theme, uh, a nice world map. It looks like it's deep, literally uh, deep, and pun pontifically. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's a one out of one. I like that game. Never heard of it before. Never talked about. It. That's a, might be might even be a hidden gem from my my quick five minute playthrough. That might be a hidden gem. And now we got King of Kings. Let's see what we got here. Looks like one of the. Always wait seven seconds. What did that say? Always wait seven seconds between power off and power on. What? Wisdom Tree presents Jesus and the Temple, Flight to Egypt, The Wise Men. Who plays the wise men? Normal and easy? Well, let's give ourselves a break. <laughs> Camel spitting. Where did that come from? Oh. Can I jump on that? Yep. Oh, the North Star at the top? That's like part of the Bible, right? Start the timer, duh. The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt to keep King Her Herod from killing Jesus. Wow. You actually have to know this stuff? It sounds true to me. No, 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 no. Ooh. Nice try. That did not hurt me. Holy crap, look at that cactus. Do I have to get these or can I just jump over them? Jesus was blank years old when he went to Jerusalem. Well, shoot. Now what? Is that, he oh, is that, is that my life on the left side? Does that heal me if I get those right? That's kind of an interesting mechanic. Huh. So like you don't have to do the trivia, but if you do, you get healed. So you get a benefit for knowing it, but you don't. It doesn't like stop you from progressing in the game. That's actually pretty good. Frankincense, huh? Yeah, this is all like Bible shit that I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why frankincense is important. Correct answer count. Bonus. Okay. Let's see what level two holds. Grapes. Uh, you know, I'm not yawning necessarily because the game is boring, although it's not super exciting, but I just have been not sleeping too much. You know, I have a kid. The, the baby wakes up at 5 in the morning. Like, there's nothing you can do. So I still, still stay up pretty late, but I get, now I just gotta wake up at 5 in the morning. Every day. God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should be made perfect. God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should be made perfect. What? God provided us with a better thing so that those without us should be perfect. Sounds false. Sounds wrong to me. No, oh, no. How do I get up there? Like this? Oh, nice. Pooey! What the heck? Stupid. Get that frankincense, baby. Oh, wow. Cool. These are these are thwomps from Mario. Stolen from Mario, thwomps, but with less way less personality. Huh. It is boring. These questions are the funnest part. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to 
Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil, right? Look, you're learning a lot about the Bible for me in this video, so I hope you're thankful for that. Pooh! Get that frankincense, oh yeah, let's answer a question. Yet if any man suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this on, on this behalf. If any man suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Yeah, I think that's probably true because Christians uh, are telling themselves not to be ashamed. Easy. Easy. Oh, I want that next question too. I'm learning a lot too right now. I feel like I'm in Sunday school. After Mary and Joseph found out the young Jesus was missing, how many days did it take them to find him? Oh, that's boring. <sighs> I don't know how young he was. I mean, three days seems too short. Twelve might be too long. Dang it. I'm not going to get my bonus now. I'll tell you what I will have, though. Plenty of frankincense. I think I got all the frankincense in this level. Oh my god, what the... Ah! This is a boss or what? Kicked his ass. Some kind of a coyote? Alright, let's see how much frankincense I got before we end this. Yeah, show me. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. I'm basically a biblical scholar at this point. Alright, um, is the game good? I mean, it's not bad, but it definitely isn't good. That, I, that game would be like a, a 6 out of 10. You know? I mean, it's like, as far as playable games go, it was like pretty boring. But it wasn't broken, and it wasn't impossible to control, and it wasn't frustrating to play. So, if I was a kid and I got that game, uh, I'd give it a fair try. So, I mean, I guess I'll give it a 1 out of 1. Well... One out of one, am I? No, I'm not going to give it a one out of one because I wouldn't recommend that game to anybody. It's a zero out of one. It's, you know, any game is, any reasonable game is better than that game. Some broken games aren't better than that, but any reasonable game certainly is. All right, King's Knight, Squaresoft game. This is a fun game, except for it's like impossible to play. I know that um, James and Mike did a video on this recently where. Mike Matai was real pissed off about how impossible this game is to play, and, and it really is. And I don't know if we'll get that far, but... So look what I'm doing here is I'm shooting, like, the land away. I can go up on the land, too, if I tap... Hold up. Be like, Oh, I got crushed by the back of the screen. It's an auto-scroller, so the whole game... So watch what happens here. Rayjack is dead, the knight. So now I'm just a different person. There's four characters that all have a similar level like this. And all these, like, when you break the land, you want to break, like, the stuff down, because inside you have power-ups, like this up. That up gives you life. It raises your life. There's also a down, which lowers your life. That, see, that'll lower my life, that down. I don't want to touch that. It's a negative power-up, which I actually think is kind of uh, interesting, you know, negative power-ups. You're too used to getting power-ups all the time. This one makes you pick and choose, and the power-ups are kind of like an obstacle sometimes. I think I said life. I don't think you have life. I think you just died. But the up is good. So I actually don't know what the up does, other than it being a good thing. One hit kills you, so there's no life bar. Like, I think at the top, that is definitely not a life bar. It's got okay music. Oh, I did. There was a life bar. I, my life did go down. Okay. I got a triangle. I have no idea what that does. Some of the power ups, I don't know what they do. Now. In every level, there's a special unique item that is required for you to get to beat the game. And nobody tells you that, and I don't know what it looks like or where it is. So, like, if I beat that entire level, which I'm not even getting close to, and I don't get the special item, I can't beat the game. So, it's really stupid. Now I'm the dragon. Oh, here's what I want to show you. You can jump up on the top, and now I'm, like, on the top area. That's just kind of interesting. 
So every level is a little bit different. Now this is interesting. So this is a... Now you're in this, like, dungeon area. And the, you can kill these. But it takes forever. If you have a turbo controller, um, you can shoot these down. But there's way too many, like, to, to even waste your time, right? You'll get crushed. So this is, like, just a gauntlet. Oh, this thing, I need this. Wow, tricks. Sorry, my, my dogs are going nuts. Barusa, the dragon, is dead. So, okay, I'm not gonna beat it, obviously. Actually, I might get to the end of this. I wonder if I can beat it with this guy. This is the hardest player character to beat it with, I think. Now, the characters all play the same. Uh, I don't know what that stairs thing is. They all play the same, but they have different worlds that they're in. And specifically, this one is in, like, a water world. So once I get out of the beach, I'm going to be in the ocean. And the controls there are very sluggish. It's like they're swimming. And it sucks. So he, this guy has the hardest level. Because it's actually the only one that's different. Um... If I need that triangle or what? Yeah, I might as well get it. See, there's some the water. So now when I go in the water, it's going to be really hard to control. Like you kind of have this kind of wobbliness to you. But the enemies are still just as relentless. So this is the hardest one. He's the thief. After this level, after all the players have played, you go to the all the players that survived. Go to the second world, which is like inside a castle, and all the players like travel as a group and you rotate them. So, like, one player is up front, and that's the active player, and the rest are, like, hiding behind him. And you have to get these rotation blocks to rotate them. Now, what's really interesting about it is you can't possibly beat the level if you don't have all four of them. So the fact that my first character died, that invalidates my entire run. But they'll let me keep playing, and, like, you'll never even figure out you can't beat it. But you can't. So this game is, like incredibly frustrating as a kid because like okay well I lost the knight but at least I beat it with three other ones no as soon as you lose the knight you've game over but the game doesn't game over it just lets you keep playing in a, in a game that can't be stopped and you get to the point in that next level where you just straight up can't beat a wall and the, the screen just crushes you and you die and there's it looks like the game is broken and there's nothing you can do and I had this game as a kid and I, I could get to that point consistently and have no idea why I couldn't beat it and I've even gotten there with all the people, but then you also need to get every special relic in every level on top of having them all survive. Like, you need a guide, right? It's so stupid. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop playing it. The game itself is good. Like, most players would never even get to the second level in, in, in years of playing. Um, if you get to the second level, you definitely need a guy to beat it. But uh, the frustratingness of the game structure aside, if you just know to reset the game whenever you you know you lose a character or you don't get all the all the items, it's a pretty fun game. There's a lot of variety in how you play. There's a lot of cool stuff in the levels. Uh, it's a, the controls work great. So I'm actually not doing this. This is a zero star, one star. So this is going to get a one out of one, even though I just gave you like a list of why it sucks. But knowing that those are issues with the game, you can avoid that and uh, enjoy it. <laughs> All right, King's Quest. Uh, it's a Konami. It's a Konami on there. I didn't realize Konami. Konami must have just uh, um, pub published it, right? Because King's Quest has been around for on PCs for way longer than Konami's been a company, I think. I think. <laughs> this graphics looked like shit already. Ah, uh, Sierra. See, that's more that's more familiar. I think Sierra made the games. How long did Mike me watch the logo? Absence makes the heart go yonder. Oh, nice. They just ported this from PC. Um, no. What a beautiful landscape. Actually, it's a pretty good piece of pixel art, to be honest. It looks kind of janky, but, like, if you think about building this from scratch, it looks pretty cool. What's he make? He's electrocuting my castle. Okay, can I skip this cutscene? I can pause the game. Okay, I skipped it. P 
picks up a flower. This is one of the first cutscenes in Nintendo. Well, this is a PC game, I guess. So that's not fair, because Ninja Guy is always credited as having the first cutscene. Oh, my castle. I can tell you what happened, says the owl. The castle is just straight up gone, so the wizard teleported the castle out of here. I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. Okay. You did? Well, what would happen? It was the powerful and evil wizard, Mardak, who did it. I just happened to be visiting with an old friend when I saw him materialize out of thin air. Thank goodness he didn't notice me. Don't stop now. Go on. <laughs> he caused a dark cloud to descend from the sky and envelop the entire castle and then commanded the cloud to rise again. And as it did, it took the castle with him. With him. Oh, it was a sight to, to see, all right. Why would this wizard, Mordak, want my castle? What could he have against me and my family? That I don't know. I only know that it was Mordak. How's he know his name is Mordak? All right, I'm bored. I'm not going to read this whole story, you know? I'm just not going to do it. Wow, it's long. The owl pooping on me now? What is that stuff? Oh, just some old leftover fairy dust I've been carrying around. It'll help you fly. You can follow me to the land of Serenia, where Crispin and I live. It's much too far to walk, you know. I think the fairy dust is still good. Okay. A lot of exposition here. I'm skipping most of it, and there's still three and a half minutes of exposition. Cedric, where have you been? I've been calling for you. And Cedric the Owl. A bit clumsy, are you? Well, come on in the house and dry off. No sense sitting around like a wet dog. Wait, am I Cedric? Oh, oh okay. I knew this this game was going to be a snooze fest to play in this. Not that it's a bad game. I mean, you know, an RPG has a, has reading like this, but I just knew in the context of five minutes, these RPGs are just not really exciting to watch. I would like to get to some gameplay though. I like how this this scene is in like a picture frame. The previous one wasn't. That's interesting because uh, we're indoors now, so it's like in a frame. Kind of cool. The graphics look pretty nice for a Nintendo game. A lot of good detail and what the, the rooms look like furnished, you know, it's not like just color blocks, they're actually furnished uh, rooms. Hey, here we go, gameplay. We got a pointer, mouse pointer. Let's talk to... Cedric isn't listening to Graham at the moment. Okay. I don't know how to exit. Oh, okay, select. Oh, save? No kidding. Oh. Wait. Oh, okay, this is the password. <laughs> Escape. Watch out, I'm poisonous snake. Better not go near it. No, this is the King's Quest I'm talking about. Hey, guy. Let's try to talk to him. Upon a fallen log sits a dashing young prince who looks very sad and confused. Talk to him. Excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but... Alright, look. I'm gonna just stop it now because I don't wanna go through a bunch of talking. I don't care. Um, what can I say about King's Quest? I'm gonna give it a zero 
because I think if you're if you want to play King's Quest V today, there are much better avenues than the Nintendo version. Um, the DOS version probably is the one I'd recommend from my memory, but there might even be remakes and remasters that are much better than these. Um, but if you really want to play an RPG anyway, I think you can do better than King's Quest. I, I shouldn't call King's Quest an RPG. I guess it's like a point-and-click adventure. Anyway, there's a lot better than King's Quest uh, nowadays. So let it go. It's over. Kings of the Beach. You know I love me some sports games, right, guys? But this one looks 90s as hell. 1989, actually. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at this gnarly little icon. Bump, set, match, tournament, spike. Well, match. <laughs> okay. Wow. Come on. <laughs> you see a little kick the sand guy? Wow, it's very hard. Wow, you you really have to time it. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. Oh, now who's king? I'll be honest, this animation is very smooth. Like, this feels nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, can I just slam dunk it after they set it? You can. So both... Okay, so here's what's going on. One button sets, one button bumps, and, and then both buttons spike. So, boom! Got it. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is... I'm liking this right now. I'm liking this. Serving is tough, though. If I don't touch anything, he walks to where the shadow is on his own. So I'm getting the hang of that, too, because otherwise I try to walk to the shadow, but it's way too hard. Oh my god, so sorry. Hello? Sorry about that, they were just calling about my ex my car's extended warranty. Interruptions rampant. Oh, I want to just spike it right off the bat. But I screwed up. I want to try to just... They want I want them to set it, and I want to just spike it. Oh, they just screwed up? They, wait, what? <sighs> Serving is, um... Is very hard. But the rest of the game is very playable. Oh, shoot. It's really, the timing is really important. This would be a fun two-player game, I think. Play with a friend and then try to, like, you know, the, all the screw-ups would be really funny. Oh! Thought I had it there. King of the Beach. Wow, they just didn't... They didn't even try. Wait, that was us! Ugh. <laughs> oh. I forgot we switched sides. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. We were getting smoked! Ah! I know I don't have to spike it, but I really want them to, like, set it. I just want to slam it into their face. Maybe when I get better at this game. Boom! Bah! Ah! Now I'm kind of thinking you can spike it from there. Because it didn't seem like the ball was getting, like, sucked into my hand like I'd expect. Yeah, if you get within the vicinity of where it's going to be, it places you there automatically, so that's nice. It's pretty well done. Wow, nice serve. Oh, wrong button. I set when it should have bumped. Or maybe that's wrong. Shoot. 
Shoot! Come on, partner! What's that Coca-Cola? Lo Lo cola That was actually a, a typo. I, I didn't mean to hit both buttons there. My thumb was just... I was too busy looking at a Coca-Cola can or whatever. I'm looking at the, the billboards now. Electronic Arts. EA makes a cameo. AVP? I don't know if that's like... Alien vs. Predator. <laughs> I doubt it. Whoa! What a weird... Is that a block? That was a weird like... Alright, okay. Okay. Hey! You know what? That is an adorable volleyball game that I would be happy to give a 1 to. Adorable game. If you like volleyball and you want to play it on the NES, you could definitely do worse than Kings of the Beach. So I recommend that. So hey, there it is. Five games. My first series uh, in January 2021. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, next time, we're going to be playing some... we got to get some art for a Kawi craze. But we got Kirby's Adventure. Something called Clash Ball, which looks pretty cool. And Clax, which is a neat puzzle game. Uh, Night Rider, neat. So hey, I hope you stay tuned and uh, you subscribe to the channel and and keep in touch and let me know what you think. See you next time.